Without the feedback process, our projects would not turn out to be the best that they can be. Um, and that's a skill that we learn here in middle school that I hope that they carry on to high school and beyond. So this week, middle school students did a critical friends protocol. They did a gallery walk where they wrote down the problem that they've been trying to solve, uh, how it's connected to population growth and their potential solutions. And then they went around and evaluated each other's and came up with um, feedback for the video project that the students are doing. Um, so each of these sticky notes has notes written on the back of it. Um, they went and visited every poster and left I likes and I wonders for their peers. And now students are using those I likes and I wonders to improve their video projects. Sure. Um, so project-based learning is very cyclical. Um, it requires a lot of trial and error and having feedback from their peers gives students a chance to take what they've learned and improve upon it in uh, a more meaningful way than if it's just their teacher telling them what to do. Um, one of the skills that we really work hard to instill in the middle schoolers and of high schoolers as well is the ability to give good feedback uh, and feedback that matters. And so before we did all of this, the kids went through and watched a video called Austin's Butterfly and it's all about how to give good feedback and feedback that matters. And then um, we talked about why good feedback matters and what good feedback is useful for. After we did all of this, we came back and we talked about how to analyze the feedback and we put it into different categories to help us improve our projects. 